I think that's it. We don't need anything from the car. Alright. It's so It's a six minute walk to the gondolas. We're going to a place called Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. And I'm very excited because it's situated on a mountain. There's cave tours and there's a lot of like thrill rides just because you're going off a cliff and stuff. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. for this one. I wish I, I filmed him screaming. It was really honestly like a super fun experience. We went on the Haunted Mind drop and that was really cool, but our photo was blacked out because the flash didn't go off. So I'm really sad because I literally felt my face go like I wanted to see what you look like. <laughs> no. I know, it doesn't even matter for you. His oldest of 14 children came in, Elizabeth, and said, Hey, I want to come through the cave system with you. She came through with one of these tin can lanterns and the holes in the top would shine onto the ceiling. But she said it looked like fairies dancing on the ceiling, giving it the name 125 years ago. Otherwise called carbonic acid. Uh, that is that same carbonic acid I was talking about at the beginning. Since I'm so small and we have a big height difference, we're allowed on that bobsled alpine roller coaster together. So we got a picture. And this looks like a green screen, but this is legit just the background. And it's so pretty. The clouds too. <sighs> so we're on the gondola down, and because it's only like a six minute walk to the hotel, motel, it's probably like a 10 minute walk to downtown. You can see everything from here. Knowing you, like how you like to improve at things. There's a moment in your smile When your eyes focus into mine There's a moment in your time When the world stops and my wash lifts out A little bit late because we got a nosebleed this morning but we are about to leave it's really dry today so I even use a nasal spray and he's fine now 
and we've parked right under the gondola ride because we decided to spend another day. We didn't get to do everything yesterday and it's fun. Is that lemon lime? Yeah. Okay, so it's literally just icy and then tequila. Yeah. Driving the traffic, an odd engine warning light came on and had us worried there for a bit. It was sundown and the small car shops were closed or don't service BMW, so we were frantically researching. Found one on the route to Denver, but for the first thing in the morning, so we're making a small detour to Georgetown for the night. Tonight's in a nice place in a quaint small town. Every restaurant is closed pretty much, so we're eating our well prepared ramen. Is there anything to see outside? The parking lot. Oh, yeah, not much. But the town is really beautiful. It looks something like this. Ah! Oh, I didn't, I didn't notice. Why do you do this to yourself? I'm counting. Is it? <laughs> I feel hot. The place that we stayed at last night is actually really nice. It's very much like a bed and breakfast, except you pay $25 for breakfast and I didn't opt for that. But what I mean is that it's like a big house and then also the facilities and like toilet, bathtub, whatever. All of these are actually like stuff that you would want in your own house. We both pointed out that this Charmin toilet paper is awesome. So it's almost checkout time. But today we have a little bit of business to take care of. Our engine light came on, but it was a very strange car warning where normally the engine light would have, it says go check it and then it doesn't go away until you get it serviced. But then this one just actually came up for a few seconds and went away and we have really no idea if it was like a sensor problem or if it truly is um, a very dangerous, something we don't know. So we're gonna get it inspected in like half an hour don't know the outcome of that if that's gonna put our schedule back but from here on out we don't have any motels or anything booked i appreciate my friend recommending hotel tonight this app but i've also been using expedia which is how i found this place another pretty cool thing about this inn is that they have a glass studio so on tuesday and wednesdays you can learn to do basics of glass blowing and they do have a little gift shop that we're hoping to visit later on after we sort out the car stuff another little hiccup i didn't mention is I I'm kind of getting a UTI because I held my pee super hard a few times this road trip and the last time I got UTI was freshman year of college so I know exactly what it feels like so I'm trying my best to pee a lot <gasps> Now that you say that, 
decent pictures of it though. I can clear all that out. And the devil I saw this planter in that glass gift shop and I just know mom's gonna love it for her garden. So I'm assembling a little care package for home. It is hailing now. I told him that we should wait a little bit for the hail to stop and he said it's kind of fun. What is he doing back there? He's telling me to go back. I get it. Do, 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 do. Is it okay? We're going to drive to Golden, Colorado to do a little fun photo shoot because how I kind of plan my travels is I go on Google Maps. Perfect. He, he made a really funny face. I just zoom in to our roads, look at the names of little towns and whatever businesses and restaurants that might pop up and that I check it out. On the way to Denver, this old time photo studio came up called Oh Susanna Vintage Photo. They have like princess ones as well as other themes and you pick your costume and <laughs> and I think you get a free print with it and you can purchase additional photos if you really are in love with them. So we have our appointment in a few hours and it's like a 40 minute drive. So that's the only other plan we have for the rest of the day and I'm kind of excited for that. It's like something unusual and fun to do, to try out on a road trip. They my makeup. They have costumes to pick from, but I've never got to wear this gunny sax dress that I found on Depop three years ago. Maybe I'll try it on for the photo shoot. Hello. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? Wonderful, actually. You guys can be Wild West, right? So it could be Cowboy Saloon Girl, or it could be Outlaws. You guys could both look like Outlaws. And then um, these are more Saloon Girl. Tumble kind of cowboy or a little bit more fancier cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of look like that mouse in Looney Tunes. Wow. <laughs> and what size foot are you? Uh, like two and a half. Kleenex. 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 Wow. Okay. We're in 
normal clothes again.